three things that we need to keep in mind when it comes to eating for optimal health and for weight loss. It is so much simpler than we make it. And if we focus on these th three things and you are metabolically healthy, you don't have any hormonal issues, PCOS, insulin resistance, any of those things, that's a whole separate category. And we can talk about that too, but that's not what this video is for. Um, if you do these three things, the chances of you reaching and maintaining your health goals, if you continue to follow them, are very, very high. Here we go. So number one is going to be eating for fuel. We need energy balance. As you probably heard, calories in, calories out. That is important, but it also goes with number two and three as well. So number one is eating the amount of food your body needs to survive and thrive, not overeating. Eating the amount that your body needs, not mindlessly eating, not emotionally eating, not overeating. So if you think of any plan, like paleo, keto, any of the ones that people are able to lose weight on and keep it off beach body, any of the things, they're all essentially doing the same thing. They are limiting the amount of calories, the amount of energy, the amount of food, however you want to look at it, to the amount that your body needs. So you can do any of it. You can do macro hunting, you can do calorie counting, you can do the little containers. You can do my way of eating, which is what I'm talking about here, not so much of the counting unless you choose to, but following these three things and putting them together, you're doing the exact same thing. So number one is eating the amount of fuel, the amount of calories, calories, the amount of energy your body needs to survive and thrive. Number two is going to be the majority of what you're eating is clean, whole, unprocessed food. So food in their pure, in its purest form. And that doesn't mean everything you put in your body. I like to say like 80-20 ratio, 90-10 ratio, but foods that has vitamins, that has minerals, that has nutrients, that isn't made in a plant. It's made either from a plant or comes from an animal. But I would say 80 to 90% of your food, let's make it that. In addition to eating the amount that your body needs. Number three is going to be Balanced meals and snacks. Balanced meals and snacks means that you're having a combination of macronutrients at, at meals and snacks. The three main macro, macronutrients are protein, car clean carbohydrates, which are like your fruits, vegetables, unprocessed whole grains that have fiber, your complex carbohydrates, and are healthy fats. So proteins, complex carbohydrates, and healthy fats at, at meals and snacks, at least a combination of two of and the goal of that is to keep our blood sugar stable. And that is going to help with fat burning and minimizing fat storage, helping to keep our cortisol in check, helping to drive down inflammation, boost immunity, energy, all of the things. Those three things that you wanna focus on, I have a whole breakdown in, at the link in my bio. If you would like to check that out, you can download it for free. Your option is set up a one-on-one -on -one free consultation with me. We can talk about actually taking that and implementing it into your daily lifestyle.